Our environment team built a large wall that surrounds Jerusalem, and we see our zombies climb over it. We also built a large CG environment outside the wall, with wastelands and a backdrop showing Jerusalem. All this was built from photo reference. Early on we received concept work showing the different shapes the crowd could take. Some were pyramid-like, and some were like freestanding tentacles made of zombie crowd. For the pyramid shots we started off to find the shape and the layout the crowd could take. We then start populating the layout with motion capture clips, including performers climbing up nets, falling down ramps, and falling off objects. The largest pyramid shots made up from around 5,000 zombies. The digital zombies come from a database built of motion capture performances, which are then randomised with a relation is run. Even the NPC artists have no idea exactly whether or not they'll succeed when they start it. For the bus shot, we use various different motion capture clips, including performers running up a ramp and jumping off from the height of the bus. All the complex crowd shots got layers of hand animated zombies. We'd start off setting the shots up in Alice, our in house crowd tool, and then we'd work out where we wanted to add the additional animation detail. One of the advantages of Alice is that it makes it really easy to work between the different departments. In the street scene, we started off working out the speed and the layout. The crowd had to be very dense to allow it to have a flowing form. In the front of the crowd, we added fast running zombies that would sometimes fall over and end up being eaten up by the zombies behind them. Towards the end of the Israel sequence, we see the zombies attack a helicopter. In some shots the helicopter was live action, but in others, where they actually need to be more extreme, we added a CG helicopter that our zombies can interact with. What's amazing is not only did they simulate all these 